Hi everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ and I'm also, I am a prayer warrior. Praise God. Hallelujah. Beautiful day today. Today is Monday, or excuse me, Tuesday, August 4th already. Praise God. We are already going into the first week of August. I cannot believe it. Praise God. So I'm making a video today on trusting God with everything you have. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding and in every way acknowledge him. He will direct our path. Praise God. Psalm 37 is about trusting the Lord. Not getting angry because anger lives leads to sin. So staying in a, a heart position of being grateful and thankful and resting in Jesus. Praise God. So I am moved out. If you haven't seen my videos before, as I always like to say, it's not by accident. It is because Jesus Christ, he wants a relationship with you. He wants to be in every area of your life. I don't care how bad your sin has been. If you turn today and you turn to the Lord, lay it at the foot of the cross. Jesus will take that sin because he took the sin when he went to the cross over 2,000 years ago. You were bought by the blood of Jesus. We serve a God of love, a God of an unbelievable amount of grace and mercy. And by his grace and mercy, you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, Jesus Christ is Lord. And you know for a fact he is the only only way to the Father's heart. Praise God. So I have a sister in Christ that I believe she is from Oklahoma, I think. She's got a really strong uh, Southern accent. Really sweet sister in Christ. The Lord put in her heart, I'm not sure when, I think in February, about coming out here and attending Lifestyle Christianity University, and she's been accepted. And she is kind of going through the same problems that I kind of did when I was trying to get here from Iowa to Fort Worth, Texas. So um, there, there's a lot of people out there uh, that are struggling with helping your neighbor as yourself. If you are in need and you need help and you're crying out to other believers, other like-minded believers, and they're not opening the door to help you out, that is sad. That is really sad. And, and it doesn't even have to be financial. I'm talking for anything. I'm talking for babysitting. I'm talking for getting a ride. Um... Uh, having a place to stay, uh, needing food, anything. But we all need to help each other out. So I haven't met her in person. I know her on Facebook because I posted something stating if anybody needs help with babysitting, I have two twin daughters that aren't doing much right now. This is right. This is right when we got here. Before my one twin ended up going back to get back to Iowa, and the other twin started working at McDonald's. But I posted that they would be, love to help out and babysit and wouldn't, wouldn't even charge just whatever the Lord would put in your heart to be a cheerful giver and bless my children for, for, the, for, the, for the help that they offer to help out. But um, uh, Sarah, uh, the sister in Christ, was the one that got in touch with me and um, uh, she's in need right now. So I'm just, I'm praying she said she has a place to stay right now, but, you know, I've got a living room right now that doesn't have a thing in there. So if she nearly needs a place to stay, I'm opening the door. Praise God. I needed help, I remember, and I didn't get much help from the people from uh, that are in the process of attending Lifestyle Christianity. I know people need roommates and the amount uh, that they're going to be charging, but at the same time, if 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 you can be a friend and a good neighbor to help somebody out, I think, you know, people need to start doing that too. So anyway, uh, enough said with that. I am prayerfully going to read Psalm 37 today because it makes me think of Sarah. It makes me think of my sister in Christ, Sarah, who is in need for she and her children to have a place to stay and just a helping hand on where to go when you've never been to this uh, state in Fort Worth, Texas, to be able to find a place to get ready to and prepare to start school in a month. So, trust the Lord. Don't be annoyed by anyone who does wrong. 
and don't envy them. They will soon disappear like grass without rain. Trust the Lord and live right. The land will be yours and you will be safe. Do what the Lord wants and he will give you your heart's desire. Let the Lord lead you and trust him to help. And then it will be as clear as the noonday sun that you were right. Be patient and trust the Lord. Don't let it bother you when it all goes well for those who do sinful things. Don't be angry or furious. Anger can lead to sin. All sinners will disappear, but if you trust the Lord, the land will be yours. Sinners will soon disappear, never to be found, but the poor will take the land and enjoy a big harvest. Merciless people make plots against good people and snarl like animals, but the Lord laughs and knows their time is coming soon. The wicked kill with swords and shoot arrows to murder the poor and needy and all who do right, but they will be killed by their own swords and their arrows will be broken. It is better to live right and be poor than to be sinful and rich. The wicked will lose all of their power, but the Lord gives strength to everyone who is good. Those who obey the Lord are daily in his care, and what he has given them will be theirs forever. They won't be in trouble when times are bad, and they will have plenty when food is scarce. Wicked people are enemies of the Lord and will vanish like smoke when a, from a field on fire. An evil person borrows and never pays back. A good person is generous and never stops giving. Everyone the Lord blesses will receive the land. Everyone the Lord curses will be destroyed. If you do what the Lord wants, he will make certain each step you take is sure. The Lord will hold your hand and if you stumble, you still won't fall. As long as I can remember, good people have never been left helpless and their children have never gone begging for, for food. They're glad, they gladly give and lend and their children turn out good. If you stop sinning and start doing right, you will keep living and be secure forever. The Lord loves justice and he won't ever desert his faithful people. He always protects them but destroys the children of the wicked. God's people will own the land and live there here forever. Words of wisdom come when people when good people speak for justice. They remember God's teachings and they never take a wrong step. The wicked try to trap and kill good people, but the Lord is on their side and he will defend them when they are on trial. Trust the Lord and follow him and he will give you the land and you will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen brutal people abuse others and grow strong like trees in rich soil. Suddenly they disappeared. I looked, but they were gone and no longer there. Think of the bright future waiting for all the families of honest and innocent and peace-loving people, but not a trace will be left of the wicked or their families. The Lord protects his people. They can come to him in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and saves them from the wicked because they run to him. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. So trust the Lord today. Give your battles to God today. Rest in the presence of the Lord. Decrease to self. Pick up your cross. I love uh, the proverb that says, when you refresh others, you yourself will be refreshed. I love being a hairstylist. I love making people feel good when they get a haircut, when they get their hair done, when their children get their hair done. So I've been in the midst of trying to get a hold of soup kitchens and shelters here in Fort Worth, Texas, because I want to put his word into practice. I get to pray over people. I get to plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus. I get to pray over children. I may not say it all out loud, but I pray it in my head. 
I pray that every person that sits in front of me for me to cut their hair gets blessed by the Lord. Hallelujah. And they turn their life over to him. So keep me in your prayers. Keep my sister in Christ, Sarah, in your prayers. I really pray that God is going to open the door for her. I know her trade of living is working with horses and cattle and things like that. And I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. But I do know there are places around here where she can definitely be a light. So I love you. Jesus loves us even more. Remember Jesus Christ is Lord and our souls are well. Bye now.